How do you install a mini split system into your home and how long does it take? In this video, we're gonna tell you everything that you need to know. Hey guys, Graham Friels here with Clean Air Heating and Cooling. In this video, we're gonna tell you the 10 steps that you'll need to take to install your new mini split system. Now the process is fairly simple and quick when compared to a central air unit, which you're gonna like because it often means that you're not gonna spend as much money and you could enjoy the benefits a lot sooner. So step one in installing your mini split system is to go ahead and install the base for your outdoor unit or the condenser. Before you install your condenser, it's crucial that you pick the perfect location. Here are some optimal factors or things we look for when choosing that location. Number one, you're gonna want a flat area that's easy to access. Number two, you're gonna wanna have plenty of clearance away from other bushes or the wall to allow plenty of room for that condenser to pull in air. Number three, you're gonna want it to be relatively close to your indoor units so you're not running line set all around your house. Also, if you're in a colder region of the country, uh, you wanna pick an area where there's not a lot of snow or ice buildup uh, that could accumulate and possibly fall on top of your unit. And then last, we actually recommend that you place it on the north side of your home if possible, just to reduce the amount of sunlight that's hitting it through the day. This is gonna help it live longer and not wear down quite as quickly. So now that you've picked your location for your condenser, it's time to actually work on the base. The first thing that you're gonna do is carve out the area with a shovel and then scrape it so it's nice and flat. After you've shoveled your location, the next thing you're gonna do is add gravel. And once this gravel is laid down, you're gonna pack it down nice and tight. Once that gravel is packed down, then you're simply gonna add your base and then make sure it's nice and level for your condenser. Now, if you can't find a good area on the ground to set your condenser, this isn't something to stress out about. We actually have wall brackets that you can set your outdoor unit on. Okay guys, step two in installing your mini split system is to install the mounting bracket for your indoor air handler. For simplicity's sake, we're only talking about wall mounted indoor air handlers, but you also have a couple other options that include ceiling cassettes and floor mounted units. Now in this step, you're gonna to wanna to pick a wall that leads directly to the outdoors. This will allow you to drill a hole that allows you to run your line set from your indoor air handler to the outdoor unit. And also when you're choosing the location for this indoor unit, you typically wanna avoid places that have a lot of dust, a lot of sunlight or close to door openings. Once you found your location, go ahead and locate the studs on the wall with the stud finder and then fasten your bracket to the wall with screws that are provided, ensuring that it's level. Okay, step number three in your mini split installation is to go ahead and cut your line set hole. Now that the bracket is installed, you're gonna need to cut a hole that allows you to run your line set from your air handler to the condenser. You're gonna start this process by taking a drill bit and creating a pilot hole from the indoor side leading to the outdoor. Once that hole has been drilled, now go outside and then look at that hole and make sure there are no obstructions around it, ensuring that you're gonna have plenty of clearance to drill the entire hole. Once you're cleared, you're gonna go ahead and drill your full-size hole indoors with your hole saw. At this step, it's nice to go ahead and push away any insulation and ensure that there are no obstructions uh, that you're having to drill through. And then last but not least, once you're done drilling inside, go ahead and go outside and finish the other side of the hole from the outdoors. Okay, step number four in your mini split installation is to run your line set. Now that you have plenty of clearance with your line set hole, you're gonna go ahead and run that line set from the air handler to the condenser. During this step, we recommend using electrical tape to keep your drainage tube, the control wire, and the refrigerant line nice and tight together. After that, you're gonna lift your air handler up and then run the start of your line set through the hole to the outdoors. During this step, we really recommend that you have someone outside to grab that other end of the line set hole, ensuring that it's not getting bent or kinked up. Step number five in installing your mini split system is to go ahead and set that air handler on the bracket inside. This should be pretty easy and fairly quick. All you have to do is lift up your air handler, set it on the bracket, and secure it in place with the hardware that's provided uh, with your unit. And step number six in your mini split installation is to go ahead and install your condenser. Since our groundwork has already been done in step one, all we have to do here is set the condenser on the pad that we've already set out. Once the condenser is set on the pad, we recommend doing two extra steps here to, just to make sure that it's extra secure and prevent it from ever falling over. Step number one is you're gonna go ahead and lift it on top of feet and secure it in place here. And then number two, you're gonna secure it to the exterior wall of your home with a bracket. Step number seven in your mini split installation is simply to run your refrigerant lines from your indoor units to the outdoor unit and connect them. During this step, you really wanna make sure that these lines are run in a nice organized fashion so it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Number two, you wanna make sure that you're properly setting the condensation drain. 
to allow any water uh, to you know, run off into any flower beds or a mulch garden, something like that. And then lastly, you're gonna connect the refrigerant lines directly to the outdoor unit. And this process is fairly simple and quick because the lines provided are threaded. Step number eight in your mini split installation is to cover your refrigerant lines with Speedy Channel. Now that all your units are installed and all the lines are connected, we need to add a little extra protection to them and make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. The first thing that you wanna do in this step is actually to make sure that that hole that we cut for the refrigerant lines right outside of the air handler is well insulated. And then number two, you're gonna install the back half of your speedy channel to the exterior of your home with self-tapping screws. You're also gonna leave space here to let that drain line run straight down. And then last but not least, you're gonna add the cover to the channel. In this step, you can even paint the speedy channel, you know, the same color of the exterior of your home to help it match even more. All right, step nine in your mini split installation is to run the electrical wiring for the unit. In this step, we actually hire this out to a licensed electrician. And the good news is they can be working on this step while our HVAC technicians are working on installing the units. Okay, so we've installed the outdoor unit, we've installed the indoor unit, we've connected all the lines, we got the electrical wiring installed. What's the last step in your mini split installation? It's to simply turn it on and enjoy it. So in this video, we went over the 10 steps in installing your mini split system. We hope this video was helpful. If you wanna learn more about mini splits, we'll include a video here at the end of this one, but also we'll include a testimonial of a recent client who's installed a mini split system. And if you have any questions, feel free to text us, give us a call at 360-398-9400, or you can always visit our website at callcleanair.com. Thank you.